let's look at this pattern. This pattern has one star. This pattern has one, two, three. This pattern has one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and fifteen. So let's write the number of stars in the pattern. So the first pattern, so let me write the numbers here. So the first pattern has one star. The second pattern has three stars. The third pattern has 3 plus 3 is 6. Uh, this is 6 plus 4, which is 10. And 10 plus 5 is 15. Okay. So now the question is, we've got two problems. If we continue this pattern, how many stars will you have in the 20th pattern? And the second question is, if there are 465 stars, which pattern number would have 465 stars? These are the two problems. So let's understand the pattern here. Okay. So one is, of course, one. So this three, I hope you can see this is one plus two. This is one plus two plus three. This is one plus two plus three plus four. So can you see a pattern there? Okay, so the fourth pattern has 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. The third pattern has 1 plus 2 plus 3. And the fifth pattern has 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. So I hope you have seen the pattern. So, but we need to find a rule or relationship between pattern number and number of stars. That's the problem, main problem. Okay, so we can do this in algebra with using algebra. But I want that my challenge is if you can do without the use of algebra. Okay. Uh, when you come to learn higher maths, this is called a quadratic pattern. Okay. But our challenge is to do this problem, which seems to be difficult in a simple manner. So let's start with three. So three, now before I explain the pattern, let me explain something else. Suppose. You have learned numbers, adding numbers. Suppose if it is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, suppose. So there are how many lots of 4? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the same thing can be written as 5 times 4. 4, this is 5 lots of 4 is 5 times 4, which is 20. Okay, but suppose if it is a 4 plus 4, plus 4 plus 2. Now this, the, this of course you can, you know how to add this, 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. But let's do this. Can we write this as a multiplication? So you got, you can see very clearly here, you got 3 lots of 4, and this 2, can we write this 2 as a 4? So we can say this is 4 plus 4 plus 4, plus half times 4. 2 can be written as half times 4. So this is 3 lots of 4, and this is half of 4. So this is same as 3 and a half times 4. I'll explain this, 3 and a half times 4. So 3 and a half times 4 is what? This is 3.5 times 4. Very interesting when if you think about, if you look at number patterns, you learn many things. So three and a half times four is same as three times four. Three times four is how much? Three times four is 12. Three times four is equal to 12. And half, 0.5 times four is two. So you got the same answer, which is 14. So let me explain one more thing. Suppose uh, if it is say phi plus phi plus phi plus phi uh, is how much? You got four lots of phi, so this is same as four times phi, okay, which is 20. Okay, what if is say six plus six plus Six plus six plus three. Okay, so this is how many lots of six? So this is four lots of six. So this can I say this is four times six? Four lots of six plus half of six. 
Thus, 3 can be written as half of 6. So, this you should know this is 24 plus 3 is 27. But I want to write this as a product. So, this is 4 lots of 6 plus half a lot of 6, which is 4.5 or 4.5 lots of 6, which is 4.5 times 6, which is uh, 4 times 6 is 24 and half which is 0.5 times 6 is 3 and that is 27 okay so let me come back to this problem okay so we're going to write 1 1 to 5 can we so let me write 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 so I want to write find this we can add them but can we write this as a product of two numbers okay so this is i want you to see okay can you see this and this this and this so what is five plus one so this is one group five plus one is this is the same as six plus this is the second lot of six plus 3. 6 plus 6 plus 3. So which is 2 lots of, so can I say this is 6 plus 6 plus half times 6. Okay, so which is, this is 1 lot of 6, this is the second lot of 6, and this is a half a lot of 6, which is 2 and a half lots of 6, which is 2.5 times 6. Okay, which is of course, 2 times 6 is 12, and 0.5 times 6, 0.5 times 6 is 3, uh, which is 17. Am I right? Yeah, 12. Oh, 12 plus 3 is 15. 12 plus 3 is not 17. 12 plus 3 is 15. So, so what happens? Suppose, let me add from 1 to 6. I want to, uh, you to establish a pattern there. So this is, okay, so this is 2 and a half times 6. Okay, so let me come back to this. So 2 and a half, 2 and a half times 6 is what? 2 and a half is 5 over 2, isn't it? 5 over 2 times 6. And that is nothing but 5 times 6 divided by 2. That will also give you the same answer. 5 times 6 is 30, divided by 2 is, uh, 30 divided by 2 is 15. Okay, so I want you to look at 5 and 6. So what happens if you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6? I'm adding from 1 to 6. So there are how many lots of 7? So this is one lot of 7. So this is 7 plus this is the second lot of 7, okay, plus this is the third lot of 7, okay, so this is 3 lots of 7, so this is 3 times 7, okay, uh, this is 7, 7, yeah, so there are 3 lots of 7, which is 21, okay, now this 21, can we write, this is 21, but can we write this as, this 21, 6 times 7 is same as 6 over 2, can I write this 6, sorry, can I write this 3 as 6 over 2 times 7, which is same as 6 times 7 over 2. So I wanted to think about the 6 and 7. Here we have got 5 times 6 over 2. Here we got 6 times 7 over 2. Okay, so let me add from 1 to 10. Okay, so let's add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. So we're going to look at lots of 11. So there are how many lots of 11? So this is one lots of 11. 1 lot of 11, this is the second lot of 11, this is the third lot of 11, 
this is the fourth lot of 11 and this is the fifth lot of 11. So this is nothing but 5 times 11. Now 5 times 11 is same as 10 over 2 times 11 over 1 which is 11 10 times 11 over 2 okay which is how much this is 110 over 2 which is 55 my focus is this can you see a pattern now developing okay so let's go back when adding from 1 to 5 it was 5 times 6 over 2 when you add it from 1 to 6, it was 6 times 7 over 2. When you add it from 1 to 10, it was 10 times 11 over 2. So let us add from 1 to 8 and see whether, say 1 to 7. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7. Okay, so let's see how many lots of 8 do we get. So this is one lot of 8. Plus, this is the second lot of 8. This is the third lot of 8. And then you get a 4. Okay, so this is a bit tricky. So this is 3. So this is 8 plus 8. Plus 8 times half times 8. Okay, so this is 3 lots of 8. This is 3 lots of 8. And half a lot of 8. Which is 3 and a half three and a half times eight okay three and a half is how many halves that is seven and a half seven halves is three and a half times eight so can you see again a pattern is developing which is seven times eight over two so can you see a pattern i wanted to stop the video and answer this question so if you want to find this the 20th pattern you have to go from 1 to 20, isn't it? The 20th pattern would be the addition from 1 to 20. Up to 20 would give you that number. So now, having understood the pattern, this should be 20 times 21 over 2, which is 420 over 2, which should be 210. Okay, so you can check that. You can add, use your calculator and add from 1 to 1 to 20 and you'll get 210. Okay, now the last question is, if you have 465, this should be which pattern number? So this should also be product of two consecutive numbers and half of that. So let's do trial and error. So let us say start at 10 times 11. It should it cannot it, it has to be over 20 so let's go 30 times 31 we'll do a trial and error 30 times 31 divided by 2 maybe the answer I don't know so I may have to use a calculator so 30 times 31 divided by 2 is 465 okay so that was uh, so it is a 30th pattern the 30th pattern would have 465 stars.